Well, I've I set up business uh, two years ago, so it's something I'd been planning for a while. I'd, I'd I started off kind of with my own company. I sold that, and then I was in the corporate world for about two decades after that. And I'd always thought that when my corporate career comes to a natural end, I would like to continue working, selling my know-how to a portfolio of customers. And I thought when I started that I would do that uh, just through my network. I've got quite an extensive network of people and that worked out fine um, until COVID came along. And then of course I was doing no marketing. It was all just by word of mouth and uh, uh, no marketing. And of course you only think about marketing when the, when the contracts dry up, which is what happened uh, in, in the kind of summer with, with COVID. And uh, at that time, I, I got contacted via LinkedIn by Ahmed. And uh, obviously, it was all automated. But it didn't feel like an automated contact. It felt like he was talking personally to me because he said, well, if I'm right, you're a consultant. You've been relying on your network. And now that's drying up. And you're wondering where the work's going to come from. And you don't want to spam the people you know. And I thought, that's exactly me. And um, so I had a call and it, the course sounded good, but I had no idea until I actually did uh, the 90 day pipeline, how good it actually is. I was thinking, uh, because I've been very busy the last two years, I mean, the, no marketing, but a lot of work. But when the work dries up, as it did with COVID, it makes you think, well, actually, uh, how do I find people? And so um, it just came out of the blue. And it came at a very good time because I thought, well, you know, I, I don't want to retire. I don't want to I actually enjoy the work I do. But I was kind of stuck at, well, how am I going to find people? So it it, it came kind of like manna from heaven. Uh, but no, I wasn't uh, looking. I was wondering about what to do, but I hadn't actually taken any practical steps. First practical steps was responding to the outreach call from Boutique Growth. The, the benefits I've got out of it is being clear about who my customers are, absolutely clear about what it is I'm offering. You know, what is it I want to be known for, to, to promote myself for? And that, the change for me, is not necessarily what I've been doing. And I've been making the mistake of being a generalist, but it's actually trying being that specialist. What is the speciality I want to promote? So it forced me to choose between two or three things that I quite like to force me to choose one of them, which is very good. And then once that, once you've got that kind of clarity, then everything else falls into place. You can, you can rewrite your whole profile. You can start thinking about the content you're going to create, which promotes you as an expert in that uh, specialist area that you've chosen. And then it gives you the confidence to go out to the market with your outreach programs, positioning yourself as an uh, expert and uh, being able to, you know, create content which reinforces that message. All things that were new to me, totally new to me, like doing, doing videos and things like that. Uh, uh, so that had, you have to get your comfort zone unless you're used to doing those things using social media, then it forces you out of your comfort zone, which is a good thing. I was doing my consulting before. I was so busy doing consulting, I had no time for marketing. And, uh, you know, and it was just kind of, well, luckily I'll go from contract to contract. I'm good at selling. So I would go to conferences and I'd meet people or I'd contact people. And, uh, you know, once I get in front of people, I'm actually quite good at selling. But um, with marketing, it, you know, it actually brings people to you. So the calls I've been having, with business owners, they found me because of contact, the content I've published or podcasts that I've done, things like that. Um, so that now my attitude toward marketing is a wee bit like gardening. You know, you've got to kind of do a little bit all the time. So my days look different in as much as I'm following the program, which is a marketing program, and I'm doing, you know, um, a bit of marketing every day. Um, so that's now 
going to be the way forward. Plus, if I, one of the other mistakes I was making before I did the program was selling my time, you know. So the mistakes, being a generalist, selling your time instead of selling my knowledge. So now with the uh, Thanks to 90 Day program, I'm, I'm uh, able to productize the, what were services. So it's, I've now called it a product, you know. The company protocol, the company merger protocol, which has uh, you know a, a, a readiness report, the actual main delivery of the plan, and then a post post merger audit. So and and I'm offering them as at a fixed price, rather than just selling an early or a daily rate. So abandoning that whole early daily rate is something new as well. I've just gone through everything that I've done in the past and I've turned it into a product with a fixed price. I would say, do it. Do it. It, it has so much more value than you could ever imagine. Um, you go into it not knowing what you're going to get, but with I went in with certain high expectations, but it exceeded all of them and in very surprising ways. So I would say, if you're going to be in your if you want to be successful, you've got a choice to make. Are you going to invest in your business or not? And if you decide you're going to invest in your business, then the 90-day pipeline is a fantastic way to do it.